Welcome back, guys, to Factorio Towns Season 2 with me, Massive Dynamic. This is Factorio Towns. This is what towns look like. Towns is different than other types of Factorio, for instance, city blocks, where everything is based on a grid pattern, or the bus, where everything is provided on a single bus and it's easy to access all of your materials for your processes. Well, in towns, things aren't that simple. We have different towns manufacturing different products for different purposes and exporting intermediate products to other towns where they're then converted into final products and shipped out. For instance, here we have the town of Sale Promo, which is named after one of our subscribers, as all of our towns are. And in the window, you'll see Trudeau, which is where we launch rockets. And also Allen Rhinus is another place where we launch rockets. And this town here, which I cannot read, I can't see the name of that one. That is a new town that we'll talk about in just a minute. But anyway, each town has inputs and outputs and then provides those things to the other towns where it's converted. Like here in the town of Sanford, where we make all of our satellites for launching into the rocket, sending into the rockets into space for our white science, space science. Here's a rocket silo that is in the process of filling. It's about 50% toward its next rocket. We've launched 177 rockets from Trudeau uh, Missile Base and also here at Allen Rhinus, where we have a rocket ready to launch. It's We finished 38 products there, but this one won't launch until... Uh, what are you waiting for? You're waiting for a satellite. I know you have a satellite. You're waiting for... Uh, let's see. What are you waiting for? I am not sure what you're waiting for. Uh, I think it's set to not launch unless the science gets low. Uh, maybe that's what it is. It's waiting for there to be a need for some science. Speaking of science, the labs are here at Rob Poznania, which is not named for a subscriber, but a name suggested by a subscriber. So, here comes the science right now. And we have, what, 34,000 space science in there. Uh, and about 10,000, 9,600 each of the other sciences. Uh, but anyway, uh, so if you have not subscribed yet, please go ahead, subscribe, like, leave a comment. And if you do, then you too can get a town named after you. Like our newest town, which is... Penance, yes. Penance we built in the last episode, I believe. And we have to say thank you so much to all of our subscribers for being here. Now, this is the new report right here. This town is built by RoboBoy, and it is not fully functional yet. We have to bring the trains in. And RoboBoy likes to do all kinds of crazy wiring and stuff. And I haven't actually been there to, yeah, he's got all kinds of circuit conditions and smarts built in that I haven't looked into yet, and I haven't had a chance to ask him what we need to do to get this town producing. It will produce a full red belt of red and a full red belt of green science packs, which is how we're moving toward the future, because uh, right now we don't produce a lot of science in the towns in the uh, old style. If you haven't seen the uh, older episodes where we built the original towns, they were not built for uh, massive productivity. Now, here is a town built by another subscriber, Laura Haneke. And this is the town of Heroi, where she is making, I think, nuclear fuel uh, for fueling all the trains. So that is something that is not fully impl imp implemented yet. She put in a lot of work on this town over the weekend. Uh, her and RoboBoy both came in, and we played for a few hours Saturday and Sunday. Actually, um... Laura was in here for most of the day on Saturday. She also built this town of Rio. And it is making the all the circuit products uh, for use in her other fancy project, which is here, which we still haven't talked about yet. And I cannot show you more than that right there. But this is going to be a special feature of the towns when it is completed. Uh, but for this episode, we're just kind of updating you on the towns and how everything works. 
and letting you know that uh, if you like what you see here and you'd like to play along with us, you can join the Discord, become a subscriber, and then you can play along. You can build a town, name it after yourself, name it after your whoever, your mom, your dad, your child, whoever you want to name it after, your dog even, that's all right. And uh, that would be fantastic. Here's the town of Zoof House, which is named for a subscriber. Thank you, Zoof House, so much. And this is where we make rocket control units, which is struggling a little bit because we need more modules. Our module town is right over here in the town of Brant. And it is still not running as fast as I'd like it to. So we need, we actually need a new updated module town. And so that's in the future. Well, probably possible. Uh, I say, pro I always say probably the next town is going to be whatever. And it never is that because I always find something else that needs to be done. There's always a lot of work to do. A lot of maintenance work, a lot of behind the scenes work that needs to be done in when you're building towns. Uh, for instance, the artillery station here is constantly bombarding the enemies. As, as you can see, the range goes all the way out here now. So that's another thing that we have to do every once in a while is just let the biters know that we're here and that we're coming for them eventually. We started out the season uh, with friendly communications with the biters and kind of a friendly agreement that uh, we would re-educate the young biters and teach them the ways of the human, but they have been rather disagreeable. And so we've had to use all sorts of methods to try to change their minds, but it has not been effective. Uh, so for the most part, we just send them these little love notes every once in a while and let them know that we're here and that uh, eventually the land that they live on will be ours. Um, so that's how we do that. And that, I think, wraps up everything for this episode of Factorio Towns Season 2. Oh, here's a nuclear reactor that Laura built also that is, is fired up. It is fired up. Yes, it is. And I'm not sure how it's getting its supply. Oh, okay. It looks like it is, ah, there it is. It's supplied that, oh, wow. That has a lot of fuel cells. Okay, so well, that, that's good. We won't be short on power forever. I mean, ever. Or ever two separate words we will never be out of power is what i'm trying to say at least not for a while or until robo boys uh monster gets fired up where is that town again robo boys town i think is right over here there it is yeah that thing has a lot of beacons that may put a little bit of a dent into our power supply we'll find out soon enough but uh, if that is something that you're interested in, then please continue to watch the episodes, hang around, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. See one last shot of the towns. All the towns on the map. And if you're still here at this point in the video, then you are absolutely crazy, and I cannot thank you enough. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.